The benefits of CAD software are numerous. We know that choosing which software is better for you can be difficult. Inventor and Creo are two good examples of these different types of CAD software. They are both known for their impressive functionalities. In this video, we are going to help you compare both software in order to choose the best one for you. First of all, let's see a brief background. Inventor is a CAD software developed by Autodesk in 1999. Autodesk Inventor is a standalone product that offers core CAD features such as parametric design, stress analysis, and sheet metal design. It exploits the concept of parametric design. It is used to make technical drawings. The software has a mechanical vocation. Inventor is a powerful software used by many professionals and in several fields. Creo also also known as PTC Creo, is a CAD software developed by PTC in 2010 and was initially released in June 2011. PTC Creo is a set of tiered software packages with higher tiers adding extra features such as flow analysis, machining, and nonlinear material analysis. This software provides apps for 3D CAD parametric feature solid modeling, 3D direct modeling, 2D orthographic views, finite element analysis and simulation, schematic design, technical illustrations besides to viewing and visualization. So what do you think? What are Inventor and Creo used for? Well, Autodesk Inventor is a 3D CAD software that has a set of tools used for creating a 3D mechanical design, making simulations and designing products. This software helps you measure the flow of digital prototype into design and build better products faster. By using Inventor, you also get an accurate 3D digital prototype that allows you validate the form, fit and function of the design you are working on. Furthermore, you gain access to an intuitive parametric design environment for development design drawings and kinematic model of parts and assemblies. Inventor automates the advanced geometry of smart components, such as plastic parts, steel frames, gears, pipes, and electrical cables. Creo is a computer-aided design parametric modeling software. With Creo Parametric and its extensions, you can create, analyze, view, and share design downstream using 2D CAD, 3D CAD, and parametric and direct modeling capabilities. By using this software, you can design any type of manufacturers thanks to its modeling features. You can also turn your thoughts into reality because of its freestyle modeling capability. And what do you think? What are the modeling and designing differences between Inventor and Creo? Modeling with Inventor is pretty simple to the rest of Autodesk products. This software comes with many tools used to create different 3D designs. One of its main features is metal modeling, which is practical when it comes to the design of sheet metal parts and complex mechanical parts. This tool also gives you the ability to assemble fabrication information with the 3D sheet metal design you have, with the 3D sheet metal model you have. With this software, you also can work with only one part of your design, thus it will be easier to control the data coming from a large assembly. For modification and design, you will only have to work on certain components. It means that everything will be perfectly adjusted. The software helps you to act with precision. You can easily adjust the structure of the set according to your needs. When it comes to the creation of freeform modeling shapes, with Inventor you can do the manipulation directly. You just need to choose a freeform to represent the geometry to be produced. It can be a box, a sphere, a cylinder, etc. When it's done, you just have to gradually change it until you you get the shape you want. Everything can be done in a single model. Autodesk Inventor makes it easy to access different concepts. Then you can gradually add other components. When the sketch is in place, you just need to convert it to a 3D model. Creo, besides its mini toolbar available for both 2D and 3D environment modeling, has advanced freestyle modeling features, simplifying the creation and optimization of stylized designs. Users can easily create freeform shapes and surfaces with pushing and pulling tools. PTC Creo also has a large high-quality engineering service library and tools for subdivisional modeling. PTC Creo makes sketching easy. It's possible for users to use an old-fashioned pen and paper and then import or sketch within the software itself. Users can also sketch directly onto model surfaces and easily reference other 3D objects. The latest PTC Creo release includes improvement to preview, editing, and auto regeneration. Once sketches are complete, they can be imported into the Creo parametric software for future development. It is possible to create animation with both Inventor and Creo, but the process is a bit different. 
In Inventor, you can create animation in different ways, but the best way is to use the Inventor Studio environment, in which you can create a very elaborate animation with moving parts, fading elements, camera movements, and more. You can also set up lighting style, surface textures, background images, etc. Moreover, you can render the animation and obtain nice videos. It is considered easy to use, just a couple of tutorials, and you will master it in no time. When it comes to Creo, animations can be created in two different ways. The snapshot method is the easiest way to create animation, but the quality of the final result will not be as smooth as the second method, which uses several models in Creo Mechanism package. With the Creo Simulate Intuitive Timeline interface, you just need to drop the object you want to animate into the animation panel and start experimenting with properties, settings, and timing. Once done, the result will be a native core animation object that will be executed at a native speak on your device. And now, let's talk a little bit about the rendering. You can render by using both Inventor and Creo. Thanks to both software, it is possible to create realistic renders that will make it easier to present your design to your clients. In Inventor, you can use the various studio commands to give your components a more realistic appearance, add props, lighting, and camera positioning that highlight the beneficial aspects of your product. When it comes to Creo, its Render Studio option provides many possibilities to create realistic renders, such as model appearance, scenes, and lighting. This can help to reveal design flaws or confirm design objectives. To render a model in Creo, you just need to click on the Appearances tab to open an appearance gallery, apply appearances to the model, or Modify the existing materials using the model, then choose Scene to open the Scene Gallery. You can also modify the existing scenes, environment, lights, and background. The next step is to click Real-Time Settings to modify the real-time rendering settings. The final step is clicking on Render to open the Render dialog box. You can modify the options and click Render. The model is rendered and saved in JPEG, PNG, or TIFF image file formats. The companies using Autodesk Inventor are most often specialized in the machinery industry as it is used primarily to create technical drawings for mechanical purposes. It is found in many fields such as automotive, architecture, construction, etc. Creo is used in many industries because of its adaptability. These include automotive, aerospace, heavy machinery, engineering services, designing and building robot companies, for example iRobot, and others that require robust testing and simulation of designs before they're manufactured. And what do you think about learning how to use both of them? Do you think it's easy? Well, the biggest difference between these two types of software is how easy and intuitive they are to use. Having all these features is great, but if they are difficult to find or work with, then they are not very useful. Creo makes it easy to sketch out your ideas, whether you sketch on paper and convert it into a 3D model or sketch within the software itself. It allows you to sketch directly onto the faces of your model and reference other 3D objects. During sketch creation, you can even modify and taper features. The latest version of Creo includes enhanced tools for preview, editing, and auto regeneration. These sketches can then be imported into the main Creo parametric software. Autodesk Inventor does not have compatible functionality. You can use outside data in Inventor Sketch by copying and pasting or importing it, but the sketches must be AutoCAD files, not hand drawn ones. However, it is considered to be easier for beginners and more user-friendly compared to Creo, that while using it, you may find some difficulties due to its steeper learning curve. To be brief, Inventor seems to be easier than Creo, especially for beginners, but you need to know that if you give it enough time and practice, it will be reachable and easy to use. Autodesk's Inventor is available on Windows and Mac, however, Creo is only available on Windows. And now, let's talk about license and pricing. Autodesk Inventor uses a subscription-based single-user license model for pricing with discounts for longer subscriptions. A month-to-month -month subscription costs $260 per month. A yearly subscription is $2,085 or 174 per month. A three-year subscription is $5,630 or 157 per month. 
You should know that it comes with a free trial. If you are a student, Inventor proposes special prices for educational purposes. PTC Creo uses a tiered packet subscription model for pricing. The starter tier in includes standard parameter CAD capabilities and augmented reality visualization. Higher tiers add new products and features, such as multi-surface milling tolerance analysis, mold machining, and computational fluid dynamics. Five basic services levels have subscription pricing to start you off when it comes to this software. All prices are per year subscription fees. And now, let's answer the most important question. Which one is better? Autodesk Inventor is among the best design software out there. It is more convenient to virtually test the model before realizing it. Digital prototyping from Autodesk is revolutionizing the field of design. It is a fairly productive way of working. The software is unique, scalable, and economical at the same time. Thanks to it, manufacturers have a variety of simplified methods of creating models. All phases, design, creation, adjustment, and digital modeling take place in the same design environment. Creo is much more stable and far superior to Inventor when it comes to top-down design. Creo would also be a better choice for any project consisting of large assemblies. Overall, choosing between Creo and Inventor for your business or studies comes down to one main factor, the complexity of your project and your goal. If you wish to design something extremely complex, Creo is definitely the choice for you. However, if you want to design simple objects, you might want to look into using Inventor as the best option.